Back. back in the house, back in the house, you're in my house, behave! Okay, tonight's video, is MX-17 the default distro for Debian to go to? Okay, unless you want really pure Debian. Okay, why is it? Why should it be? Well, I'll tell you why it should be. It's so easy to install and use, and it is really fast. If you want a Debian-based distro, and you don't want to go with Ubuntu, so you don't want Linux Lite, you don't want Peppermint, you don't want Zubantu, look what I use mainly. MX Linux, or MX17 is what we call it now, is the way to go. Now, I don't have your hardware installed here for you, okay, on the 5960X. Runs a dream. I mean, I can't fault it, but it would do, because there's plenty of cores and threads and plenty of memory. But even on older hardware, like a Q6600, if you ask Ghosty, he's got an older hardware, he loves it. I know. Go and check out some of his videos. He will show you all what to do and what he's done. He's even rethemed it, reskinned it. He's done stuff. Okay. Stuff that is stuff that is stuff. Why well, it's so easy? Okay, the installer takes around about on this machine. Okay, okay, on this machine takes around about three to four minutes, if that. Okay, on an older machine, a few years older, five, six, maximum of eight minutes, no problem whatsoever. Yes, I have changed the wallpaper, and yes, I have changed Conky. Do what I want it to. But remember, you can add whatever wallpaper you want to. But that's just, that's out of the way, isn't it, really? That's not what we're really talking about here. Why is it good? Okay, let's go f a few a few things for you. So I've put the menu over this side for me. So you can conky off, or I can conky on. Just like that. Nice and easy. So we've got some stuff. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. LibreOffice works straight out of the box. It's installed as it is. I'll open CalCut for you. Bosh. We're ready to go. I know if you've got older hardware or really old hardware or your 32 bit, I'm sure MX does still does 32 bit, so you should be okay. Be super duper, no problem. And these are just the things in this part of the menu. So, shall we go to MX Tools? Okay, MX Tools, a nice little option here. Make your own live USB. Take a snapshot of your system, your boot options, boot repair if it's not working. So say your system goes bang, just put in a disk or a USB key, you can get it all up and running again. The NVIDIA driver, they're not the most current, but they'll work fine for Steam, etc. But the codex installer is for audio and video codecs. Because remember, in some countries, you can't use them, okay? Because it's against the law. But here where I am, not a problem. I can do what I like. There's a network assistant if you can't configure any of your network. Select your sound sources, nice and easy. The system sounds, you can do all that sort of stuff. You can tweak it. So if we click on tweak, you see what I mean. So check out your panels, where you want them, what you want it to do. The themes. So you can change the theme if you want to. You can use dark, light, niche, when you mean, when you mean, it's only a few there, but you can install more if you want to. Right, I'm using the XFC compositor, sorry, the XFWM compositor for this. You can have others if you want to, including Compton. Straight out of Compton. <laughs> Your config options, so you can check all that out. And a lot of other stuff here, you can check out too. Okay, so there's lots and lots of stuff you can do with it before you even get started in installing stuff. You have fixed your GPG keys. So you say you're running some stuff and it don't start to work. Check it out, it'll work all for you. Your package installer. Should we click? Ching! They want my password. So I'll chuck it in. Oh, wrong key, but that one should work. Right, this is the basic MX package installer. So, they've got several sections here you can go to. Okay, so if I go to wallpapers, you'll see I've actually downloaded the majority of them. Okay. If I go to office, there's a few there. Would, would I like them? Would I need them? Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. What about to a media converter? I can get Handbrake if I want, and WinFF. Ooh, or WinFF, whatever one you call it. Under Media Center, you can install Kodi and Plex all within the same system. Uh, what else got here for you? Games, <laughs> Cloud Linux, Steam, SuperTux, SuperTux, Cart, Flash, blah de blah de blah de blah de blah de blah. Audio. I've already installed Audacity and quite a few others, and including Spotify, by the way. I've installed all them. 
Browser's by default. Okay. Firefox uninstalled, Google Chrome I've installed, and Waterfox. So say you wanted to install Vivaldi, just because you're a sucker. We we'll click on it and click on install. It'll download some stuff and start doing some stuff. Or will it? Now this download I've got is the one of the nightly builds or one of the regular weekly builds for August. Okay. So nothing seems to be happening at the moment, but we'll soon see in a second. So while we're waiting, I hope they're drinking. Mm. And nothing seems to be happening. But I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave it running for the time being, just in case they need to update some stuff. So anyway, no Conky. Oh no. Should we turn Conky on? Conky, come on. Is Conky going to come on? No. This is some of the problems you're going to have, and now you're going to have to configure your system. Because Conky is only configured for one desktop, obviously. So if I go back and go Conky on and off, in theory, there we go, it comes back on again. Memory usage is really low. I'm just going to let this do stuff while we're doing stuff, and I will go to the other window. So what I want to show you is, if we go down to System, we can scroll down. There's loads of stuff here that sometimes you wouldn't even use anymore, like the Windows wireless drivers. I've not had to use them for a really, really, really long time. I know, I know. But they're still there, just in case you have picky stuff. Okay. Midnight Command is here for a file manager. It's all there. HTOP. Let's have a look. Boom Selector. Look at that. It's not actually doing anything at all. But if I put on my other machine, I'm not sure if HTOP will be able to run it. But we'll come to that in a couple of days or maybe a week or so, and I'll let you see what it is. But as you can see here, in HTOP, Simple Screen Recorder is doing all the stuff for us. Process is not really doing nothing. We've doubled our, our memory usage for using a simple screen recorder, but I'm using it at 60 frames a second. Got a rather large screen. It's got a lot to capture. Of course, it's going to be like that. Yeah, enough said. We go back. Right, ooh. Did we have any work there? Mm, it's still refreshing. This ain't not really good about that, is there? So I'll tell you what. Should we just get out of that and we'll go back to something else? Now, say you want to install a different type of package. Okay. So if we close the MX tools, because you can do all this yourself. Oh, by the way, the iDevice mounter, I've not tried because I don't have any iDevices, not for millions of years. But if I go to a quick system info, because this is a real hardware install, by the way, it's not on VirtualBox. It's on my kit. It's all here. As I said before, doing this stuff. That's no problem. So anyway, back we go. Back to the menu. And we go to system again. And if we go down here, our main installer is Synaptic. And we all know what that means, doesn't it? It means you can do whatever you like once you put the password in. We'll wait for it to boot up. We're going to reload it and see if it has the same trouble getting through to some of the repos. I had this a bit earlier. So some of the repos are having a bit of a trouble here. So if I try and make that bigger. Yes, I can. Yeah. So the Google one is having trouble. Waterfox is having trouble also. But remember, this is an August release, so it's probably not so good as it should be. But maybe if you're MX uh, developer, you'll know what this means. We're going to leave that running for just a little bit longer. It will do its stuff and then see there's nothing we can do. So if I cancel that, there you go. It can't actually. So, so we're still going to use the old ones. So maybe you should go to the Google Chrome website and install the browser from there. For one of them and water fox as well at the same time but this is some of the problems we have when you're using pure debian and it's almost there but not quite okay almost there if i go down to our bottom bar here i'll just show, give you a quick look before we go away because you can make your own um, impressions on this firefox is your default browser we have a file manager which is here super duper loads of space of course this here is our package updater now, when that goes green, that means you need to update your packages. Up here with a clippy thing. Now, as you can see, I have the United States of America flag running because I didn't install the correct UK keyboard. But I can change that any time I want to, so that's not a problem. Here's our Ethernet. Here's our simple screen recorder running. Here's our audio, so it's quite low at the moment. Here's that supposed to be battery, I think. And there's unmanned any drives. But would you use... MX17 as your daily driver for 
for a, a newbie or semi going to mediocre user, yes, I would say go and use it and have a really, really good play because you can back up stuff all the time. So if I go back to MX Tools again, if I go here, you can take a snapshot. So if I click on snapshot, it want my password. And there we go. And it will tell you where it's going to be put, whereabouts on the hard drive, and the name of it. Simple. So you can go back in and restore it. Not a problem. But we're going to cancel that for now. Because that's what I do. So MX17, if you don't want a Ubuntu based distro, I mean, I know Ubuntu is based on Debian at the end of the day, but you want a purer version of Debian, but you don't want to go with pure Debian and do all the work, MX17 is few. And to be honest, there's not that many problems with it at the end of the day, is there? It's just super duper. Go and give it a try on real hardware and you'll see what I mean. Even your Steam games work! Sneaky links out. Okay, let's bye.